Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux, OC, CQ is a Canadian former professional ice hockey player and current owner of the Pittsburgh Penguins team. He played parts of 17 seasons in the National Hockey Leagues with the Pittsburgh Penguins between 1984 and 2006, dubbed the Magnificent One or La Magnificette. He is widely acknowledged to have been one of the best players of all time. He is the only player to score one goal in each of the five possible situations in a single NHL game, a feat he accomplished in 1988. A gifted playmaker and fast skater despite his large size, Lemieux often beat defensemen with fakes and decks. Lemieux led Pittsburgh to consecutive Stanley Cups in 1991 and 1992. Under his ownership, the Penguins won additional Cups in 2009, 2016 and 2017. He is the only man to have his name on the Cup as both a player and an owner. He also led Team Canada to an Olympic gold medal in 2002, a championship at the 2004 World Cup of Hockey, and a Canada Cup in 1987. He won the Lester B. Pearson Award as the most outstanding player voted by the players four times, the Hart Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player. During the regular season three times, the Art Ross Trophy as the league's points leader six times, and the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoffs MVP in 1991 and 1992. At the time of his retirement, he was the NHL's seventh highest ranked career scorer with 690 goals and 1033 assists. He ranked second in NHL history with a 0.754 goals per game average for his career. Behind only Mike Bossy. In 2004, he was inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. Lemieux's career was plagued by health problems that limited him to 915 of a possible 1428 regular season games between the opening of the 1984-85 campaign and the final game of 2005-2006. Lemieux's NHL debut was on October 11, 1984, and his final game took place on December 16, 2005. His numerous ailments included spinal disc herniation, Hodgkin's lymphoma, chronic tendinitis of a hip flexor muscle, and chronic back pain so severe that other people had to tie his skates. He retired on two separate occasions due to these health issues, first in 1997 after battling lymphoma, returned in 2000, and then retired for a second and final time in 2006, after being diagnosed with an atrial fibrillation. Lemieux also missed the entire 1994-95 season due to Hodgkin's lymphoma. Despite his lengthy absences from the game, his play remained at a high level upon his return to the ice. He won the Hart Trophy and scoring title in 1995-96 after sitting out the entire previous season, and he was a finalist for the Hart when he made his comeback in 2000. In 1999, he bought the then bankrupt Penguins and the top minor league affiliate, the American Hockey League's Wilkes-Barre, Scranton Penguins, and is currently the team's principal owner and chairman. The Hockey Hall of Fame inducted Lemieux immediately after his first retirement in 1997, waiving the normal three-year waiting period. Upon his return in 2000, he became the third Hall of Famer to play after being inducted. Lemieux's impact on the NHL has been significant. Andrew Conte of the Pittsburgh Tribune Review called him the savior of the Pittsburgh Penguins, and after Lemieux's retirement, Wayne Gretzky commented that, you don't replace players like Mario Lemieux. The game will miss him. Bobby Orr called him, the most talented player I've ever seen. Or, along 
with Brian Trottier and numerous fans, speculated that if Lemieux had not suffered so many issues with his health, his on-ice achievements would have been much greater. On January 27, 2017, in a ceremony during the All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles, Lemieux was part of the second group of players to be named one of the 100 greatest NHL players in history. Early years Lemieux was born in Montreal, to Pierre, a stay-at-home mom, and Jean-Guy Lemieux, an engineer. He and his older brothers Alan and Richard grew up in a working-class family in the Ville Emma district. Mario began practicing hockey at age three in his basement before using real equipment. He and his brothers used wooden kitchen spoons as hockey sticks and bottle caps as pucks. His father created a rink on the front lawn so that the boys could practice as much as possible. And according to family legend, the family sometimes packed snow onto the living room carpet so the brothers could practice indoors. When it was dark, the young Lemieux was friends with future endless Mark Berg-Evan and Robert Bordeaux. Lemieux started his career with the Laval Voisins of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. When he was drafted at age 15, he declared that he would break league records in the 1983-84 QMJHL season. Lemieux broke the league record for points in a season with 282 in 70 games. In his last game of the regular season, Lemieux needed three goals. To tie Guy Lafleur's record of 130 goals, he scored six goals and added six assists in a 16-4 victory. Although he played in the 1983 World Junior Hockey Championships, Lemieux did not play for the Canadian juniors in 1984, because he disliked how coach Dave King treated him in the previous tournament. He also did not want to break up his junior season. He finished his QMJHL career with 562 points in three seasons. Before the 1984 NHL entry draft, Lemieux announced he wanted to play for whoever drafted him. He and his agent were deadlocked with the Penguins and could not negotiate a contract. Because of this, when the Penguins called his name as the first overall draft pick, he did not shake general manager Eddie Johnston's hand or don the Penguins jersey. As is NHL tradition, he claimed he was upset about the contract negotiation and said that Pittsburgh doesn't want him bad enough. Even though the draft was held in Montreal, over 3,000 fans viewed a broadcast in Pittsburgh's Civic Arena, a typical Penguins game drew less than 7,000 fans at the time. After the draft, Johnston signed Lemieux to a two-year contract for $600,000 plus a $150,000 bonus for signing. 1984-1988 Early Career At the start of Lemieux's career, the Penguins were in financial turmoil and there were rumors of relocation. The team had declared bankruptcy after the 1974-75 season, and by 1983, they were averaging fewer than 7,000 fans per game, less than half of the Civic Arena's capacity. They had not made the playoffs since 1982, and had not had a winning season since 1979. He debuted on October 11, 1984, against the Boston Bruins and on his first shift, he stole the puck from Hall of Fame defenseman Ray Bork and scored a goal with his first NHL shot against Pete Peters. Later that season, Lemieux played in the NHL All-Star Game and became the first rookie to be named the All-Star Game's most valuable player. Despite missing seven games, during the season, Lemieux scored 100 points and won the Calder Memorial Trophy as the Rookie of the Year. The next season, 
Lemieux finished second in league scoring with 141 points. Behind Wayne Gretzky's NHL record 215 points, he won the Lester B. Pearson Award as the NHL's best regular season player as voted by his peers. Lemieux missed 17 games of the 1986-87 NHL season, his point production slipped, and the Penguins once again failed to make the playoffs. However, he played in the Canada Cup during the summer of 1987 and set a tournament record 11 goals in nine games, his last goal which clinched the Canadian victory, broke a tie with the Soviet team. With 1.26 remaining in the third period, Lemieux cited his Canada Cup experience as the reason for his elevated play later on, stating, Remember, I was only 21 years old at the time. To be around guys like Wayne Gretzky and Mark Messier and Paul Coffey was a tremendous learning experience. By the 1987-88 season, Wayne Gretzky had won seven consecutive Art Ross trophies for leading the league in points. That season, fueled by his Canada Cup experience, Lemieux scored 168 points and won his first NHL scoring title. He also won his first Hart Memorial Trophy as the league's most valuable player to his team and the All-Star Game MVP award after a record-setting six-point game. Despite Lemieux's success, the Penguins finished one point out of the playoffs. They did, however, have their first winning record in nine years. 1988-1992 to 199 points in the 1988-89 season, Lemieux led the league with 114 assists and 85 goals for 199 points. He is the only player to approach Gretzky's mammoth 200-plus point seasons. Lemieux finished the season a close second to Gretzky in voting for the Hart Trophy and set several milestones and records in the process, becoming the second player to score 70-plus goals in two seasons, the fourth player to score 50 goals in 50 games, and the only player to score 13 shorthanded goals in one season. Buoyed in part by Lemieux performance, the Penguins made the playoffs for the first time in seven years. Perhaps the defining moment of Lemieux's season was on December 31, 1988 in a game against the New Jersey Devils. In that game, Lemieux scored eight points and became the only player in NHL history to score a goal in all five possible game situations in the same game, even strength, power play, shorthanded, penalty shot, and empty net. Lemieux had another five-goal, eight-point performance in a 10-7 victory during the postseason against the Philadelphia Flyers on April 25, 1989. He tied the NHL record for most goals and points in a postseason game, most goals in a postseason period, and most assists in a postseason period. However, the Penguins lost the series 4-3. During the 1989-90 NHL season, Lemieux scored at least one point in 46 consecutive games before he ended the streak by leaving a game due to injury. The streak's length was second only to Gretzky's 51-game streak. Lemieux won his third All-Star Game MVP with a four-goal performance. Although he missed 21 games, he finished fourth in the league in scoring with 123 points. The Penguins did not qualify for the playoffs. Lemieux's back injury progressed into a herniated disc, which subsequently developed an infection. On July 11, 1990, Lemieux underwent back surgery to fix the disc, and he missed 50 games in the 1990-91 NHL season. In his absence, 
The Penguins acquired players Joe Mullen, Larry Murphy, Ron Francis, and Ulf Samuelson in hopes of becoming serious contenders for the Stanley Cup. Despite significant back pain, Lemieux scored 16 goals and 28 assists for the playoff lead and led the Penguins over the Minnesota North Stars for their first Stanley Cup. Lemieux won the Conn Smythe Trophy as the playoffs' most valuable player. His 44 playoff points rank second only to Wayne Gretzky's 47 in 1984-85. One of the most famous goals in NHL history is the goal Lemieux scored in the second period of game. 2. Receiving the puck between the Penguins is blue line and the center line. Lemieux skated solo into the North Stars zone facing two defensemen and the goalie by himself. Mario skirted the puck through one of the defender's legs, skated around him, forced the goalie to commit left, then switched the puck to his backhand side, and sliding the puck in before crashing into the net himself. The brief video of the goal has been since featured on recent Stanley Cup promo ads by the NHL, as well as the opening montage of Hockey Night in Canada broadcasts. Lemieux played only 64 games in his injury-plagued 1991-92 season. Despite missing several games, he won his third Art Ross Trophy with 131 points. During the second game of the Patrick Division Finals, the New York Rangers' Adam Graves slashed and broke Lemieux's left hand. Lemieux missed five games but still led the playoffs with 16 goals and 18 assists. The Penguins swept the Chicago Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup Final and Lemieux won the Conn Smythe Trophy for the second consecutive postseason. Mario racked up an astonishing 78 combined points during the 1991 and 1992 playoffs, a two-year total second only to Gretzky's 82 points as his Oilers won their first and second Stanley Cup titles in 1984 and 1985. 1992-1997, Cancer, Return, and Retirement The Penguins started the 1992-93 season well, and Lemieux set a franchise record with at least one goal in 12 consecutive games, from October 6 to November 1. He was on pace to challenge Gretzky's records of 92 goals in one season and 215 points in one season, until January 12, 1993, when he made the shocking announcement that he had been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was forced to undergo energy-draining aggressive radiation treatments, leaving his career and possibly his survival in doubt. He missed two months of play and without him, the Penguins struggled. When he returned, he was 12 points behind Buffalo's Pat Lafontaine in the scoring race. On the day of his last radiation treatment, Lemieux flew to Philadelphia to play against the Flyers, where he scored a goal and an assist in a 5-4 loss. Before the game, Lemieux earned a standing ovation from Philadelphia fans, a rare occurrence for any visiting player, much less a Pittsburgh athlete. With Lemieux back, Pittsburgh won an NHL record 17 consecutive games to finish first overall. For the first time in franchise history, the 119 points are still a franchise record. Lemieux scored at an incredible pace notching an average 2.67 points per game, the third highest points per game for a season, behind only Wayne Gretzky's 1983-84 and 1985-86 averages of 2.77 and 2.69, respectively. Lemieux won his second straight and fourth overall scoring title, finishing with 160 points in 60 games, beating out Lafontaine by 12 points. The Penguins dispatched the New Jersey Devils in the first round in five games but were upset 
by the New York Islanders in seven. During the series against the Islanders, Lemieux was repeatedly knocked out of his game by Darius Kasparitis. After the season, Lemieux was awarded his second Pearson Trophy, and his first Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy, given to the player who best exemplifies perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey. On July 23, 1993, Lemieux underwent his second back surgery, only this time to repair a herniated muscle. He missed the first 10 games of the season to recover from surgery, and missed 48 more games from back problems. After the season, he announced that he would take a leave of absence because of fatigue brought on by his radiation treatment. Lemieux returned for the 1995-96 season, and on October 26, 1995, he scored his 500th career goal in his 605th game, played against the New York Islanders. Lemieux was second only to Gretzky, who scored 500 goals in 575 games. Lemieux finished the season with 69 goals and 92 assists to lead the league. He became the seventh player to win three Hart trophies, and the fourth player to win five Art Ross trophies. Despite his return, the Penguins fell to the Florida Panthers in the Eastern Conference Final in seven games. The next season, Lemieux, playing against the Vancouver Canucks, scored his 600th career goal in his 719th game, and went on to put up his 10th career 100-point season, both the second most in history after Wayne Gretzky's 600 goals in 718 games, and 15 100-point seasons, in his last game against his hometown Montreal. Lemieux tied an NHL record for most goals in a period, with four goals in the third. Lemieux won his sixth scoring title with 122 points. On April 6, 1997, Lemieux announced that he planned to retire following the playoffs. The Penguins were eliminated in five games by the Eric Lindros-led Philadelphia Flyers. During the first round, Lemieux scored one goal and earned an assist in his final game. Despite the typically hostile Philadelphia crowd, Lemieux skated around the ice following the final horn and received a standing ovation from the fans in attendance. Upon his first retirement, Lemieux became the only player to retire from the NHL with a greater than two points per game average. On November 17, 1997, Lemieux was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, becoming the ninth player in history to have the mandatory three-year waiting period waived. 1997-2000, post-retirement The Penguins' as free spending ways of the early 1990s came at a high price, however, through most of the 1990s, Penguins' as owners Howard Baldwin and Morris Beltsberg mismanaged the team, owing over $90 million to various creditors. As a consequence, the Penguins asked Lemieux and other prominent players to defer their salaries. The team was also forced to make several trades to stop the bleeding, most of which backfired. The situation became so dire that the Penguins were forced to declare bankruptcy in November 1998. For most of the 1998-99 NHL season, it looked like the Penguins would either move out of town or fold altogether. At this point, Lemieux stepped in with an unusual proposal to buy the team. Years of deferred salaries, adding up, to $32.5 million, had made him the Penguins' as largest creditor. He proposed to convert $20 million of his deferred salary into equity, with another $5 million in cash, enough to give him controlling interest. He also promised to keep the team in Pittsburgh. The U.S. Bankruptcy Court gave preliminary approval 
To Lemieux's bid on June 24, Lemieux later said that he would have put in a bid even if he had not been owed the deferred salary. The NHL's Board of Governors approved his application for ownership on September 1, 1999. Two days later, after Lemieux cut a deal with Fox Sports Pittsburgh and Spectacle Management Group, the court gave final approval to Lemieux's reorganization plan, allowing him to formally assume control. This made the then-retired star the first former NHL player to become majority owner of his former team. Lemieux assumed the posts of president, chairman, and CEO of the Penguins. Lemieux's plan was designed to pay everyone the organization owed. In fact, the bankruptcy court approved his bid in part because of the prospect that the debt would be fully retired, a rare feat, considering that unsecured creditors typically get only pennies on the dollar. In his first season as principal owner Pittsburgh went from a loss of $16 million from the previous season into a small profit of $47,000. Ticket sales increased after Lemieux's takeover and even more after his comeback in 2000 also improving team finances. In August 2005, the Post-Gazette reported that the Penguins had indeed fully paid the principal it owed to each of its creditors, both secured and unsecured. Lemieux was given much of the credit, according to the article, for his insistence that everyone owed be paid. He has since relinquished the president's and CEO's post to Ken Sawyer but remains the team's principal owner and chairman. In January 2006, Lemieux confirmed the team was for sale, but would consider offers only from those who will keep the team in Pittsburgh. 2000-2006, out of retirement. Late in 2000, there were rumors that Lemieux was attempting a comeback. Upon announcing his comeback, Lemieux also signed a career-spanning deal with Nike to wear their equipment on the ice and to endorse their products off the ice. This deal would include Lemieux endorsing the line of footwear and the golf equipment. It is said that the deal was worth $500,000 a season and would remain in effect for the rest of his career. At the press conference confirming his return, Lemieux indicated part of his reason was that his only son Austin, then four, wanted to see his father play. On December 27, 2000, he returned to the NHL against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The game was nationally broadcast on ESPN2 in the US and on Hockey Night in Canada. Lemieux proved that his scoring touch had not disappeared by scoring a goal and three points, including an assist 33 seconds into the first shift of his return, while Jaramir Dagr remained of captain of the Penguins. Lemieux was named captain of the North American All-Stars during the mid-season All-Star game in Denver, Colorado, Despite playing in only 43 games in 2001, Lemieux scored 76 points to finish 26th in scoring, finishing the season with the highest points per game average that season among NHL players. In fact, he had the highest points per game average amongst NHL players for the entire period, from his 2001 return until his final retirement in 2006. Lemieux was one of the three finalists for the Hart Memorial Trophy and Lester B. Pearson NHLPA Awards, and earned a selection on the postseason NHL All-Star second team. Lemieux led the Penguins in the postseason and led in playoff scoring for much of it. His team surprised many by going to the Eastern Conference Finals knocking off the higher-seeded Washington Capitals and Buffalo Sabres along the way in six and seven games, respectively. The Penguins lost in five games to the top-seeded New Jersey Devils, as their players held Lemieux and JAGR without a goal that series. 
Lemieux finished Game 5 in the penalty box after slashing the Devils' John Madden. Afterwards Lemieux signed his stick and handed it to a young fan. Before the start of the 2001-02 season, Pittsburgh was forced to trade most of their expensive players, so the team plummeted to the bottom of the NHL and missed the playoffs in each of the next four seasons. Lemieux again resumed the captaincy, as Jaromir Jagr was sent to the Washington Capitals. However, Lemieux only appeared in 24 games, partially due to injuries that would also plague him for the next three seasons. He also skipped some Penguins games in 2001-02 so he could be in condition to play what would be his only chance at the Olympics in his career. However, Lemieux played only one more game after the Salt Lake City Olympics before being out for the rest of the season due to a nagging hip problem, leading one Pittsburgh columnist to demand that Lemieux apologize for making Team Canada his priority. Radio show host Mark Madden said he would donate $6,600 to the Mario Lemieux Foundation if the hockey great ever scored off a face-off. On December 23, 2002, the Penguins played the Buffalo Sabres in Pittsburgh and Lemieux, who was aware of the challenge, made good on it, when he scored the game-winning goal right off a face-off during the third period. In 2002-03, at the age of 37, Lemieux led the National Hockey League in scoring for most of the season, but missed most of the games towards the end of the schedule and finished eighth in scoring. With 91 points in only 67 games, Lemieux missed all but 10 games during the 2003-04 season. After the lockout concluded, Lemieux returned to the ice for the 2005-06 season. Hopes for the Penguins were high due to the salary cap and revenue sharing, which enabled the team to compete in the market for several star players. Another reason for optimism was the Penguins winning the lottery for the first draft pick, enabling them to select Sidney Crosby. Lemieux opened up his home to Crosby to help the rookie settle in Pittsburgh and served as Crosby's mentor. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.